That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Women's World Cup has begun. So, of course, in FIFA 23, you can start selecting your teams. Now, right now, I can select my team. And, of course, I am going to select Great Britain, UK, England. So, I'm looking for England right now. England's right here. I have no choice, man. I can't not select the country that I've born and I'm raised in. So, of course, England is what I'm going to select here. The Lionesses made their debut at FIFA World Cup, FIFA Women's World Cup against Canada in 1995. And this year will mark their sixth appearance. Their best result prior to this tournament was third place in 2015. They will now be real contenders for the trophy after their recent success in the UEFA Women's Euro 2022 and the 2023 Women's Finals. Lizima. Best results, third place in 2015. So, of course, I'm going to select England because that's where I'm from. So, there we go. I always support my international team. But, of course, if you support a team, do let me know. You can always say if you don't support your own international team or maybe you support a team additionally to your own international team. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do New Zealand versus Norway because that is one of the next fixtures in the Women's World Cup on Thursday, the 20th of July, 2023. So I'm going to play that matchup right now. So you can see that we have a few different things that we can select here. We have FIFA Women's World Cup, or I'm not sure. I'm not sure what different game modes we have at the moment. So of course, I'm going to go for a kickoff, right? So I'm going to go for the kickoff because I think the World Cup is going to be the entire tournament. I don't want to play for the entire tournament. I just want to do one matchup. So here you can see we have a selection. We have group stage, Round of 16, quarterfinal, semi-final, and the final itself. Now, I'm going to select group stage because that's the stage that we're currently in. I'm focusing on group A to begin with because that's where New Zealand versus Norway takes place. So let's select this. So now I'm going to play at home in New Zealand. Uh, so New Zealand is one uh, is who is playing at home. So we're going to move now until we can find New Zealand. And here we are. So we have New Zealand versus Norway. So it'll be around about the same part of the menu where you can find Norway. They both begin with N, New Zealand and Norway. So of course, they'll be right next to each other. So Norway is right here. So I'm going to play this matchup. I'm also going to keep it fair. I'm not going to pull it on beginner mode or anything stuff like that. Uh, we're going to be playing at home as New Zealand. We'll put them in the home kit. Uh, and also, we might as well just put, yeah, it makes sense. Put them both in their home kit for now. And let's jump into this matchup. So let's go into game settings before we jump in. So for game settings, I've got it on semi-pro. I'm going to leave it on semi-pro. We've got six minutes per half. Uh, training center is off because, of course, I play FIFA 23 anyway. So we don't need that training center on. And let's jump into this matchup now to see how it goes down. This is New Zealand versus Norway in FIFA 23 on semi-pro difficulty for the FIFA 23 Women's World Cup. Let's see how this goes down. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new here, don't forget you can also subscribe. There's a lot of FIFA 23 that I play here. Let's see how this goes down. Press the menu button to play. So I'm ready to play. Let's go. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. What this will also do is it will give us an idea of the different types of player skills that are available with the players that are actually in the team well, just because the, the lineups are updated. For this evening, it's absolutely ideal. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's New Zealand up against Norway. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Yeah, here we go. This is where we are uh, set up. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. 
but does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Let's keep in mind that I am playing on the New Zealand side here in this matchup, so it will sway things a little bit, but I'm also going to get some little details that FIFA 23 might have put in place for these players to give us an idea what might happen in this matchup. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And they kick off here. Ali Riley. Oh, she's in here. It's still alive, but not to be. It is offside. An important interception. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. No nonsense clearance. On the offensive. Oh, surely. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And she puts it away, just what they wanted to see from her. Didn't let me goody there, but don't worry. If we get another opportunity like that, I will be goodying. Don't you worry. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be bunge really a very poor ball harvey that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here Throw into Norway. It needs an accurate cross. And it wasn't a straightforward save, but credit to her. Bowen. Claudia Bunge. Read it superbly to take back possession. Claudia is struggling a little bit on that back. Uh, on her back line there. She's having a little bit of trouble in terms of her ball control. Could also be a fault of myself. <laughs> Can she find the right pass? In position. Real chance. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Yes, in possession again. And maybe another opportunity developing here. Takes the shot. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? And there's the goody. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. But it's definitely the right call. That's technology at its best. Go! 
So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. So what I'm thinking to do right now is if it's a possibility to just turn the difficulty up to make it a little bit more difficult right now just in case. So I'm going to go to the uh, CPU uh, game customization, see what's available here. I mean, I don't think I've got the difficulty there. I don't remember how to do the difficulty of the matchup while we're in the game, but it might be something to consider for the next one. Let's jump back in for now and let's see how this goes down. Enjoying the game so far. Ada Hegerberg. Good tackle, take it away. Now options are plenty. And using her considerable strength to shield the ball. Percival and the cross into the middle an unforced error you've got to say now counter attacking possibilities here could play it in not all that convincing defensively will it be slice it really really wasteful it certainly was the goalkeeper should have had no chance there but it was fairly simple for her in the end and Norway regaining possession under some pressure committed challenge that's useful play and she's being egged on by the crowd Can they convert? And foiled only by the crossbar. Is it going to be? A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Three goals in right now. I definitely have my inkling as to who is going to be the difference maker for New Zealand in well, this matchup. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. An incredible first half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And that was a very fine read. A glorious chance on a powerful effort, but just Wilkinson right there. Should definitely be in the difference maker. Up front. Definitely one to watch. Those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. Running with the ball confidently. Delivered into the area here. Not to be this time. Katie Bowen. Determined defending. This looks promising out wide. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, still an issue here. And in the end, no damage done. Guru writer. Now can they counter clinically? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. In with a chance. And denied by the post. <laughs> what? A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. 
Alright, so Boeing, Wilkinson, and a few others have definitely been the difference makers for New Zealand so far in this matchup. As I'm playing the game, I can feel the pace and I can feel the difference between those players. Satchel, also another standout player. Let's see what's going on. Of course, Chance has scored two goals. Let's see what's going on in those statistics at half time. So even though my shot accuracy has been at 56%, you can see that we've still been able to make those goals. 99, 92% possession, or dribble success rate, sorry, and then 79% pass accuracy. And you can see that also Norway have had that 100%, which means that at this difficulty, they might have a lot more chances on goals in the actual matchup, considering that all players are playing at their peak performance. Let's jump into the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. It's icing with a bit of danger here. And possession lost by Norway. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Guru Raiten. And beating her opponent. Well, she has cause to be grateful to her teammate. Can they hit on the break? Well, not very clever defending. It might be. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. So the tactic I'm going to use for the set piece right now, the set piece that I'm going to do is uh, run far post. I'm going to chip it up into the air. Playing it in. And a no-nonsense clearance. Great opportunity. And up for grabs off the keeper. Oh, nothing untoward happened. Well, she keeps moving. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Harvey. Lund. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. I have a really strong far wing. You can see that's definitely making the difference for them on the wing for their protection in midfield. Which is the reason why I'm easily being able to push them out for a throne. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ada Hegerberg. An important interception. CPU was adapting to the situation there, going through the centre. But now because they've pushed their team far over, we've got an empty flank here. We can take advantage of. They were almost punished completely for that. Let's take a far shot. And now having a go! Well, tremendous block. Graham Hansen. Good looking sequence. Oh, it strikes the bar and fired against the crossbar. She's made a really good intervention there. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back.
Hannah Wilkinson. Elizabeth Anton. Is it going to be? What a block! You can see Wilkinson's ball control making a difference there again. She's very good on the ball. She makes every touch count from the seam of it, from the feel of it. The ball control is definitely in the centre of that pitch. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. It should be. But it wasn't a straightforward. Keepers now definitely putting out some cracking saves. Now right, let's make the sub. Things. Here's the substitution. I'm going to keep it on the inside and I'm going to go for a uh, crowd to keeper with a set piece. Played over. Going to struggle to get it away properly. And they deal with the threat this time. A quarter of an hour remaining here. A very good tackle. Illegal play and hence a free kick. And support available. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Brighton. And she moves the ball with intent. Chance on this ring with the strongest ring. As you can see, I'm slowing down the play here just to show you how strong and she is on the ball on. as well. Well, the fans want her to take on the shot. Oh, surely. Nicely saved. And they're making a change. Uh, Elizabeth Anton has just came off the pitch. She's definitely been a great asset to the team but she's getting tired at this point we're in the 82nd minute so it's quite late on in the game now sending it in pressing high to win the ball this looks interesting can they convert oh right in the nick of time Now, options are plenty. And it might be a goal! Cracking goal. Sort of Absolute cracking goal. Amazing. Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball coming nice, off. And it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. That's Bowen as well. She's also been a standout. Brilliant contribution to the team. about the outcome surely they now have been removed could be a chance to break here can they take advantage of the situation well it was a good counter attack in the making but very alert defending and the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes Mornum. And teammates around her. And still looking for space. Oh, big opportunity. Well, decent save there. 
And the final whistle is sounded. It has and that's full time. For them. They get the win they were looking for here, Stuart. New Zealand coming out on top. Performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And so the battle commences. On the offensive. Oh, surely. And she puts it away. Just what they wanted to see from her. So what I can definitely say at this point is that New Zealand definitely a force to be reckoned with. Bowen, Wilkinson and Chance are definitely standout players on the team that can really make a difference up front and on those wings. There are a few possessions that I would say are weak for the team in terms of defensively and on the one flank for the team. And I was definitely pointing those out during this gameplay. Now, of course, I'm still playing on semi-pro difficulty, but I can see those little intricacies of each player that can make a difference in this matchup. Let's have a look at the statistics now to see what the statistics have to say. Now, we absolutely blew out Norway in that gameplay, but of course, I'm good at FIFA 23. So let's have a look and see the statistics as well to give you some more context. Don't forget, you can also subscribe here to the channel for more FIFA 23 as well. This has been a game by Anthony Adam. You know what it is, baby. All right, let's have a look at those statistics really quick. If it allows us. All right, so we have our player performance summary here. Satchel stand out at 7.5, Wilkinson 8.1, Chance got women of the match for at 8.4, Hasseta 8.3. Really didn't feel like I was using her as often as someone like Wilkinson and Satchel, but of course, uh, Bowen I thought as well played very, very well. You can see Bowen just here. Percival came off later on in the game. Uh, a green as well. Left back seemed to be struggling. You can see where she's struggling with her match rating there and our uh, start as well. So you can see a few players that were struggling in this matchup, even at this difficulty with this matchup between Norway and New Zealand. The possession map here. Now you can see we were working with that one flank quite often and you can see where this is happening for each player and who is getting most of the ball. Now chance on both sides of the pitch because during the second half, of course, she was switching sides. 94% success dribble rate. Dribbles completed 15, dribbles 16. So she only really messed up one dribble. Her possession 11% of the overall possession so you can see what is happening here with chance on the pitch Wilkinson again another standout player 8% possession dribbles 12 dribbles completed 11 so again a dribbling is absolutely superb she's really good on the ball and I did notice that throughout this matchup Let's go into some of the shooting here so you can see where all the shots are coming from from each player you can see chance absolutely just really just dominating there up front and of course if we go further down this pitch you will have less players in that opportunistic goal shooting opportunity. Passing. So you can go for the passing of each player to see which passes are being made. Just go up to Bowen here. So Bowen really making her way through from defence into midfield and up into a shooting position. So she's really making a difference all over the pitch really. Let's go into Percival. Percival really, really making a lot of passes. So these are all the statistics you can really consider in terms of going forward in the game. Defending, of course, you want to go back towards the defenders. Now, here's something really interesting. There were some players that were defend uh, were struggling with their, their defence in this matchup. Elizabeth Anton, I would say she's played well. Even though she's at 7.8, I think she deserved better with this one. And yes, okay, so into goalkeeping. Of course, our goalkeeper didn't have to really do too much for this matchup, but there were some really good saves that the keeper did make, mainly coming from across the ground. I think there might have been one crossbar knock, but yes, good matchup. Well done, New Zealand. If you've enjoyed and you want some more FIFA 23, definitely let me know. Thumbs up this video. There's going to be more where this came from. See you in the next one.